Here's the boots. In my hurry to pack after Christmas, I don't know why, it's quite stupid, but I forgot all the ground mats, which is like, yeah, big deal. I forgot, you probably can't see in there, I've got my stretcher, but I forgot the mattress for it, so, so I'll be sleeping on a stretcher. But I did bring my swag, so, oh, I also forgot to bring my chair, nowhere to sit. Um, unless you yeah, want to sit in wet chair ground. Situation. In my swag, I have the heavy duty canvas ground sheet. So I went and got some sticks and made the old famous tripods chair. So at least I've got somewhere to sit. And they're very comfortable. Home sweet home. Looks awesome to me. Alright guys, right. I tried to get some kangaroo shots. There was about five or six sitting in the paddock. But this fella chased them all. Alrighty. The weather's starting to clear up, but there's a wind coming through here that's bloody cold, so... I've been spending a lot of time in there because I forgot my chair. And we can't put that one in there. I've been sitting on a bucket. Anyway, it's all good. So what we've done is move the table in here. Thank you for a tour. We have the kitchen. With the fridge. And the tap. Hot water is there. Or under there at the moment. I'm not using it. We have the entertainment system yeah. cranky. We have the master room, master bedroom, and there is the uh, wardrobe, the clothes, and hanging facilities. It's all very lardy da. Move the light inside. You can see, we have lights for la kitchen. This is the uh, garage or storage facility where the dog sleeps. Basically I just packed up the big tarp and got everything ready to go for tomorrow because I'm going to take off for day three. This is day two. And I'm going to go down to uh, the old south coast way anyway. Day two wrapped up guys. Starting to feel really relaxed and chilled out. Don't want to go anywhere near home. Three of them, they're coming up to see me. You know what they want. Getting pretty close. Only about, I don't know if you can see it, they're probably about five metres away. And this fellow wants to circle me. Beautiful birds, man. Beautiful birds. And this fella. Just stay still, I don't want to scare him off. He's going to run over. Stronger in a group, guys. Cool. He's better. That's really cool, guys. One, two, three units. I knew they were out here. I've seen them before. If only this camera would do smell of vision oh, Mushrooms and tomato and spices. Still got to put the pasta in yet, but mmm. And in goes the pasta. Put the lid on, let it simmer for a little while, soften up that pasta. And ravioli or whatever it is, full of beef and goodness. Ready to go. It's good to me. Mushrooms, ravioli, tomato. Of course, seasoning, pepper and whatever. Yummy. Way too much for me, but I'll eat it. Yeah, we're out here hardcore camping, guys. Oh, look, baby's playing. Doing it hard, guys. Doing it hard. The predator. Well, this is day three. We're on. Hey, buddy. Down there behind that is, uh, uh, where are we? Korang River. C O R A N G, I think. Anyway, um, it's about 11, 12 k's southwest of Nerega. Nerega's inland from now, I sort of think. And this is just a little bushland area, actually off the highway. Highway is just, I don't know. Not far, just over there somewhere. Right, it's better. 
five second walk from camp just down to the river. Nice. I can't see what I'm filming this fella. He's going to write his name. This is our spot now. <laughs> there are other spots to get to the river. It's quite deep here. Maybe some yabbies. Off water to have a shower. Awesome. Sweet. I'm running low on drinking water, so I use this for everything but drinking. I'm not far from camp at all. Nice. Decided to stay here for the night. I didn't do a big setup, although I may make the extra effort and put the shower tent up and have a shower and get cleaned up. Because both me and him are starting to pong a bit. As you can see, there's camp. Not far at all. Awesome. It'll do me for the night, guys. Marriage Land Care Incorporated. Grand River. Something or other project. Riparian. Protecting the threatened Kerrang Pine. There you go. The Latin name Colliterus. Okay. Oblongata. So that's a long clitoris. <laughs> Colliterus of the long variety. Right. Well, make what you want out of that. Hmm. Anyway, I didn't know that long clitorises were uh, endangered, but obviously we must protect them. Okay. okay, I'll try and make this quick. This is glamping, not camping, I suppose. Um, no facilities out here, as you can probably guess. And I need to... Oopsie. So, um, I need a shower to stink. It's been like, this is, tomorrow's the fourth day without any shower. I'm in here. We have our toilet. It's not being used yet, so it's all good. We have our shower hanging up there. There's the pump. Goes towards the power supply, which the fridge is running off. I'm doing this quick, guys. Um, that's all my bathroom shit. You open that up. Oh, you've seen it before. You open it up, it falls down. You've got everything in there, toothpaste, blah, blah, blah. I've got to get out to the river. So I picked a spot near a river so that I could fill that up. It was 20 litres. And fill that up and boil it. And you put that in there and it's a good temperature for a shower. And it gives you about 12 minute shower. Oh, I just saw a fox. Lucky Buddha didn't pick it up. There's foxes here, goods. Oh, and by the way, someone drove past when I was having a shower. I don't know if you can see the shower tents on the other side of the ute. I didn't bother closing any of the uh, curtains. He might have got a fucking eye full of doodle as he drove past. But whatever. He's camped with them guys over there, so that'll give him a story to tell. Anyway, a little story, if you know what I mean. Haha. Bye bye. Bit of a mystery at Belangelo, guys. Everybody's, uh, oh, I was here a couple of days ago on my way down south. I've been there and I've come back I've decided to spend the night here just to chill out before I go home I've seen these a couple of young guys I think it was a young guys a guy and a girl or something and um, they set up apparently that set up's been there with no one around for three days yeah, it's an abandoned camp that's a Austral festival two-person tent it's brand new it's not a bad little tent actually, you can tell they don't know how to put tents up, someone doesn't. Things fall over, I doubt it. Eyes. The boy just went for a swim. Very fucking low this water. You can actually see the bottom for a change, it's usually right up here. Yeah, have a look around. I wonder if there's any yabbies left in there this time. I'll try and 
bits on. Just thought I'd show you one of the trails in Belenglo that not many people know about. Well, a few people know, but not many people I know know about it. I'm going to talk about it. Goes off in behind the uh, water at Daly Squaring, the dam, whatever you want to call it, puddle. At the moment. It's quite a nice trail. Do not forget guys, like, share, subscribe.